Art lovers will find a real treasure house in the Alta Pinacotec, the old picture gallery, with its great collection of Durer and especially Rubens, 72 canvases, the largest Rubens collection in the world. The collection was first started about 500 years ago, and it's been growing ever since, thanks to the patronage of various royal family members, starting out with Duke Wilhelm IV, who got the collection going. And we'll just mention some names. Here's Altdorfer's Alexander's Battle, one of the great masterpieces. There are works here by Cranach, by Durer, there are 15 paintings by Van Dyck. We've got a couple of Raphael's, Titian, Tiepolo, Rembrandt, Hans Holbein, Andrea del Sarto. The list goes on. It's particularly strong in the Italian Renaissance, the Baroque, and the German school, of course. We've got Murillo, there's a couple of Lippis, Botticelli, Ghirlandaio. There's some of the Dutch masters. Some of the major patrons were Max Emanuel. Back in the 1680s, he brought in the Baroque style. Max Joseph and Ludwig were other important patrons of playful Fragonard. Canaletto in Venice, and there's a painting of a gallery that echoes the collection itself. The Alta Pinacotec is the name of the museum, the old picture gallery. Unfortunately, it was heavily damaged during World War II, and they had to do a lot of reconstruction. They closed the building down even in the late 80s, early 90s, and it's only just reopened in the year 2000. It's certainly worth your time, especially if you're an art lover. This great city of Munich has several other major museums that you might want to consider. For more history, there is the Bavarian National Museum that has a nice display of sculpture and porcelain and jewelry and ceramics. For the science fans, there is the German Museum of Science and Technology that has very much up-to-date displays as well as extensive collections on the history of science. And then for the art lovers, there's the Neue Pinakothek, and we're going to take you in there right now. This has art primarily from the 19th century and a little bit of early 20th century. So here you'll find the Impressionists. They've got Monet and Manet. They've got grand examples of Impressionism, Post-Impressionism. You'll see Van Gogh and Cezanne. And they do have some earlier work by such artists as Gainsborough and Goya and David, stretching back into the 18th century. Then there's Gustav Klimt. And there is Munch. So we have some early 20th century pioneers here as well. For some much older art, you might want to visit the Glyptotech with its collection of ancient Greek and Roman classical art bronze and marble statues dating back as far as 500 BC. You'll find the early classical Greek and Hellenistic Greek here very well represented. Among the 160 statues here are those taken from this pediment of a Greek temple on the island of Aegina. Roman portrait busts are well represented here in marble as well as bronze and there's Roman mosaics taken from floors of ancient palaces. The Glyptotech is located on Königsplatz and also here you'll find the Propylaea. And nearby are some parks so let's take a little breather from all of this culture, this high culture, and take a stroll in the garden.